All right, this is going to be another part of the series on taking notes in your Bible. Now we're going to look at a certain topic in the Bible. And way back in the book of Exodus, you have Moses going against Pharaoh and the magicians. So this topic is going to be titled God Almighty versus the gods of Egypt. And God uses Moses to, you know, do all these, bring all these plagues on Pharaoh and Egypt. And these uh, plagues are so interesting because not only do they show us something that's going to happen in the future tribulation, they also show us that how God went against all the gods of Egypt when he brought these plagues. So that's what I want to show you. All right, well, what about the first one here? We got where God turned water to blood. God used Moses to turn the water, Moses and Aaron turned the water to blood in Exodus 7, 14 through 25. Exodus 7, 14 through 25 is when they turn the water to blood. And then what do you have in the tribulation? In the tribulation, in Revelation 8, 8 through 9, 11, 6, and 16, 3 through 6, you'll see how the same thing is going to happen in the tribulation. You're going to have some water turning to blood. Okay, so what false gods did God defeat or show his superiority over when he turned the water to blood? Now, you'll have to excuse me for how I pronounce some of these false gods' names because, you know, some of them are pretty tough, but this god, Canum, Canum, a uh, guardian of river source. That was an Egyptian god. And, you know, God would be sh showing his, his superiority over that god. This god named Hapi or Happy, god of the Nile. Oz Rhesus. The Nile supposedly contained his bloodstream, supposedly, is what they believe. Nilus, sacred river god. So you have God showing his superiority over all of these false gods. And how can you think about this in a get spiritual application for yourself is God is superior over all the gods in this present evil world you're in now. Egypt is a type of the world. God's superior over all the gods of Egypt back in Exodus. He's superior, superior over all the gods in your present evil world that you're living in now. So, God turned the water to blood. Then God sent the frogs in Exodus 8, 1 through 15. Now, how does this line up with the tribulation? In Revelation 16, 13 through 14, you're going to see unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the false prophet. You see, it's good to have this, all this in your Bible because, you know, you want to get somebody interested in the Bible. I think this is very interesting. You want to tell your family a Bible story. You know, maybe you're uh, teaching a Sunday school class or something. You want to tell somebody about these things. You just open up over here to the book of Exodus. And you teach them this. And I've got this written here in Exodus 12.12. 12. If you look at Exodus 12.12, 12, it says, For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night, and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. So God came against all the gods of Egypt. He's taken them on all at one time. With the frogs, though, false gods defeated, he showed superiority over Hect, goddess of reproduction. Now, lice, you see, this is the ones that the, the magicians could not copy because <clears throat> they could not get life from the dust of the earth. And in Exodus 8, 16 through 19 is when the story takes place. And then in Revelation eleven six, 6, the two witnesses, Moses and Elijah, are said to smite the earth with all plagues. They're probably going to do the same thing. The same plagues that happened back here in Exodus, the false god defeated is Geb or Jeb, however you pronounce that, god of the earth, Egyptian god of the earth. And magicians say this is the finger of God. Even the enemies, even the enemies admit this is the finger of God. The god of the Bible could not be this false god here because they could not bring life from the dust of the earth like God did back in Genesis.
Then you have flies in Exodus 8, 20 through 32 is when the story takes place. Revelation 11, 6, Moses and Elijah will smite the earth with all plagues. The false god defeated, Kephara, he had an insect head, a false god with an insect head, and this uh, false god, Uachit, the fly god of Egypt. God says, you got a fly god, here's you some flies. Then the moraine, the disease on cattle, Exodus 9, 1 through 7. Revelation 11, 6, Moses and Elijah is going to smite the earth with all plagues. What's the false gods defeated back then? Apis and Hathor, the sacred bull and cow. God brought the, the disease on cattle. They were worshiping bulls and cows because, you know, Satan is, uh, is you know, a cherub, was a, an anointed cherub. And, you know, they, they had the, the face of an ox. So that's what, where you get uh, the cow worship, the golden calf, things like that. Now, boils, Exodus 9, 8 through 12 is when the story takes place. Revelation 16, 2, you see there's going to be boils come on the people that take the mark of the beast in the tribulation. And then uh, the, the false gods defeated is this guy, Imhotep. And like I said, I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing these right. Supposedly inventor of healing. The Egyptians considered him a god and... You know, he's a false god of Egypt, inventor of healing, but he's defeated because, you know, God's putting boils on people that can't get rid of them. Just like in the uh, book of Revelation, he's putting boils on people that take the mark of the beast and they can't get rid of them. Or not boils, but, uh, you know, leprosy, putting this leprosy on them. And uh, you, see, you see, when they take the mark of the beast, they're going to get these sores all over them. And... They're going to be trying to find somebody that can get these sores off of them. They're going to be trying to get a vaccine probably. But they're not going to be able to get rid of them. And this also represents him going against Typhon, the evil eye god. And, um, you know, the Antichrist, he's going to have a bad right eye. You take the mark of the beast. You know, you're worshiping the Antichrist. He's got a bad right eye. That's how, see, all this stuff, all this stuff that happens in the Old Testament represents something that happens in the New Testament. Then you got hell, in Exodus 9, 13 through 35, you got hell coming up, coming down on people. In Revelation 8, 7, you got the same thing happen again in the tribulation. God's bringing some hell down. And it's going to be about the weight of a talent when, in the tribulation when God brings it down. And this goes against Shu. The God of atmosphere. Then you got the plague of locusts in Exodus 10, 1 through 20. Once again, there's going to be devilish locusts come up out of the bottomless pit in Revelation 9, 3 through 6. And this goes against the God Serapis, protector from locusts, supposedly. But he couldn't protect them from the locusts from God. Then you got darkness coming over the land in Exodus 10, 21 through 29. And then in Revelation 16.10, God brings a darkness over the Antichrist's kingdom. And back there in Exodus, this shows him going against Ra, the sun god. He puts the lights out. He knocks their lights out. And then you got finally the death of the firstborn at the Passover, Exodus 12, 29 through 36. And this goes against the false god Pharaoh himself because he murdered the sons of Israel. He had... The, the men ch children killed and he's a type of the antichrist who's in the tribulation that's how this shows us the tribulation because he's a type of antichrist he's called a dragon in Ezekiel 29 3 just like the devil's called a dragon in Revelation 12 9 so that's what you have there God Almighty versus the gods of Egypt and uh, I think it's good to have stuff like this in your Bible you know, I've, I've got it under certain parts underlined and marked and highlighted. That way, all this stuff doesn't just run together and you can kind of read through it easier. But that's been God Almighty versus the gods of Egypt.